Hey Libra, this will happen in the next 48 hours for March the 13th through March the 14th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for March the 13th through March the 14th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for March the 13th through March the 14th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for March the 13th through March the 14th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Libra. So, <clears throat> Libra, you have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Libra, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with you, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. But Libra, this is you. Clarify the King of Swords. For Libra, clarify the King of Swords. For Libra. What about Libra? What about Libra? Clarify the King of Swords for Libra. It is clarified with the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the Emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Libra. Clarify the emperor for Libra. Clarify the emperor for Libra. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Libra, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now Libra, this could all be work or business where you're being shortchanged here. Some type of financial lack. And you're having to make a decision. Libra, you could also tell me that someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. And this is causing a breakup here. Someone could be giving more, someone else to someone that they have history with. Libra, 
you have the high priestess scorpio cancer or pisces this is she who knows she who knows this is the really this is the keeper of the hidden secrets keeper of the hidden knowledge the universe is calling for you to use your intuition but you may know something that you're keeping to yourself now the high priestess keeps silent so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another so, Libra, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Libra. Clarify the high priestess for Libra. Clarify the high priestess for Libra. It is clarified with you, Libra, justice. You may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. But Libra, this is you. Clarify justice for Libra. Clarify justice for Libra. What about Libra? What about Libra? Clarify justice for Libra. It is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. And this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher. Someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy. Someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now Libra, you can tell me that you're using your intuition that you need to hold on to your coins, penny pinch, and be thrifty and save, because it could be something going on with the finances here. Libra, you can tell me that you're closed off to this person, you're not speaking to them. You can tell me that you're using your intuition that you need to be closed off to this person. could also tell me that I want to know if you're keeping something close to your chest, some type of secret here, Libra. Hmm. Libra, you have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with, or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Libra, you can tell me you guys had some immature, premature communication, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Libra. Clarify the page of swords for Libra. Clarify the page of swords for Libra. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Libra, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star. For Libra, clarify the star. For Libra, clarify the star. For Libra, it is clarified with the sun. 
Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Libra. Clarify the sun for Libra. Clarify the sun for Libra. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Libra, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Hmm. Libra, you can tell me that something is being illuminated concerning your coins here. And your financial stability. You could also tell me because something was illuminated concerning your coins, you're looking elsewhere. Libra, you could also tell me that you went looking and spying and something was illuminated here. And you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship and heal things with this person. Or whether or not you just need to heal individually on your own. Libra, you have the two of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Libra, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Clarify the two of wands for Libra. Clarify the two of wands for Libra. Clarify the two of wands for Libra. It is clarified with the Five of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how pan things pan out in the relationship. So Libra, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Libra, I feel that you're disappointed and y'all, you're trying to figure out where to go from here. Maybe making some type of plans here because something disappointed you. Either this is work or business dealing with your coins or this is the relationship. Hmm. <clears throat> Libra, you have the eight of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Libra, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Libra. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Libra. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Libra. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergy man, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Libra, it could be dealing with a Taurus. You can tell me that you guys are in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant 
for Libra. It is clarified with the High Priestess again. Like I said, you can tell me that you're not speaking to this person. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the High Priestess for Libra. Clarify the High Priestess for Libra. Clarify the High Priestess for Libra. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now, Libra, listen, <clears throat> you can tell me that you're using your intuition, that you need to stand your ground with some type of institution, organization, governmental agency, work, or business, and maybe reach out with communication or give them the information of what's going on with your coins here. Libra, you could also tell me that you're using your intuition that you need to keep your guard up. You not you may not be ready to forgive this person because you found that they were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. You could also tell me you're not ready to forgive this person. You're giving them the silent treatment after some type of argument and you're standing your ground. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Libra. Now, this is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Libra. And it says, children, young, childhood, playful. Children, young, childhood, playful. Ain't nobody playing right now. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? And it says, financial support, child alimony government. Oh, financial support, child alimony government. Child support, children. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for March the 13th through March the 14th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.